Hi guys, so today my video is going to be about my everyday eye makeup and I'm going to be using the Naked One palette so uh, just keep on watching if you're interested and I hope you enjoy. So it's up to you if you do your makeup, like your face makeup and your eyes first. Um, I personally do my face makeup and then my eyes so um, I just already have some concealer on and I did my eyebrows so that's it. So. Um, as long as your eyes are clean and naked, that's all that worry. That's all that matters. Sorry. So this is just kind of like my everyday look that I wear when like I have time when I don't have ADM classes. It might be a little much for some people, but it's a smoky eye that I wear during the day, and sometimes wear it during the night or I just amp it up a bit. Um, so yeah, it might be over the top for some people to wear on a daily basis, but it's what I wear every day. So you can use it day, night, whatever. So the first thing I do is um, I use a primer, the Urban Decay Potion. Um, it's really good. It makes the world of a difference. It stops creasing and it makes it last a lot longer. So um, I'm a very finger person when it comes to applying makeup, which I know some people don't like and like, ugh, that's nasty. But... I'm a finger person. I don't like brushes. I find they're like really streaky and they, I just don't like the application. And then you have to clean them all the time and I'd rather just wash my hands and then do my makeup. So yeah. So just put a bit on your eyes just as a base. And as you can see it's kind of like a shiny light color but it really complements the um, the actual palette colors itself and since it's such a light color it makes it, it makes the colors very true so that's there and um, some people don't like it because it feels kind of greasy at first but once you actually you know do your eye makeup it, it you don't feel it there so next I use well this is a palette so I'm doing Naked 1. Um, I'll be doing Naked 2 some other time, maybe next week. Um, so it comes with a brush, which if you have it, you know that. But I don't really like the brush because it's really stiff and I kind of like the fluffy all-over brushes. So um, if you're in Canada, I'm using Quo. So, so I start out using Half Baked for my all-over, which is kind of like a gold shimmery color but it looks a lot more natural when it goes on as you can see yes it has that shimmer it's kind of gold looking but in certain lights it's more natural looking it's just that when it hits the light and on certain angles it's more like bold and in your face but I personally like that so that's up to you. Another good alternative that you could use for all over if this is too bold for you would be um, Sidecar. I like the ones that have like a shimmer in it because it just it brings out eyes. Like no matter what eye color you have, I find it brings out your eyes. So next for the crease, I'm going to be using Dark Horse. So it's a really dark brown. And it has a slight shimmer, but not much, since it's made for the crease. Um, so I'm just using a normal angled crease brush. Um, it's actually from Victoria's Secret, and it's surprisingly good. Um, I find sometimes when you're doing crease, you over apply if you just dip it, if you just like you know brush the eyeshadow and put it straight on. So I tend to brush a bit on my hand just to take off like the excess, and then you just blend it in there, in the corner. And then I'll go to the other eye, even though I'm not fully done, just so that um, I don't over apply on one eye. Like, it's all on this side and none on this side. So, sorry, I'm gonna, this light is like, taking away. So this one has a bit more. So, I'm just gonna touch up this one.
So it doesn't look even in the camera, but when I'm looking in the mirror now, it's even. So sorry, that's why I keep looking up. But they're even, even though they don't really look like it. <laughs> Um, and then, with the actual brush that they give you, um, I take Virgin, which is the first color, which you can use underneath any color if you're not using a primer. It kind of works like a primer. It helps bring up the natural colors, and it kind of helps the all the eyeshadow stay on. So I'm using that, and I use that as a highlighter. So I put it under my brows and in the corner of my eye. But you really have to blend it, um... So that, you know, it's not too much up here. And it also helps blend the smokiness. So that's nice. And I know they look very different because of this lighting. But there, if you can see it any better. So... Next, um, it's up to you if you want to line your eyes or just skip to mascara, but um, that's just the actual eyeshadow. I like to line my eyes, so I'm using um, Annabelle. It's just called Eye Ink. It's a liquid pen liner, and I like it because I don't like the actual one where you dip it in the pot because I make a mess. So, um, I'm just going to line it very very close to the lashes because in the day I don't really like to do a cat eye but that's usually my thing and I usually I only line up to about where my eyelashes start because I don't want it to be like really harsh so as you can see there's a difference I kind of like it better with the liner because it makes it a little more bold and I don't like being <laughs> I like having a nice balance of bold and natural, so that's why I do this instead of a cat eye, because it's more natural than a cat eye, but like it's not like completely, you know, plain Jane natural. So now that I'm done that, um, I'll usually just do my eyelashes, but sometimes I like to add a little bit of something else if I'm just like in a good bubbly happy mood and you know I don't have a test that day or an 8 a.m. lab for microbiology and everything so um I usually add a gold glitter liner just because I'm using half baked which again is the gold glitter color and I find this just really complements it so again if you live in Canada you can get this it's um, from the brand Essence which as far as I know, it's only sold at Shoppers Drug Mart in Canada. So I don't think you can get in the States, but any gold glitter liner works. And I just put that basically where I leave off, which is where my lashes start, all the way down into the corner. And I usually have to do like a couple, a couple coats because um, it's very sheer. And since I'm putting it over half baked, it doesn't show as well. So I did one eye, and there. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but yeah, you can see it a bit. There's a little bit, but that's how it looks, the whole look. Um, lashes. I forgot, I actually have mascara on my lashes from last night and wash it off, so um, I'm not going to do that, but I just use my eyelash curler, which I got from Forever 21, and I'm using this new mascara from Rimmel called Wonder Lash, and it has argan oil in it, and I find it's a lot easier to take off, and my eyelashes aren't falling out all the time when I take them off, and it goes on very nicely, and I like the brush you can see the brush and then so that's non waterproof so I usually do that and then I'll do a layer of lash out butterfly from L'Oreal in waterproof because um, I find it just helps your lashes you know stay curled and it looks bolder and it helps 
um, declump everything. And I like this brush as well. So again, it also helps in the declumping. And that's it. Then I'm ready to go. So thank you for watching and I hope you like this video. If you have any other suggestions of what you want in tutorials, whether it be you know, full face makeup, eye makeup, or anything else, just let me know in the comments.